Hello everyone, I'm back with some interesting and technique to share with you for uh, hosting your online classes. You must be using chalkboard or a smart board in your math classroom or in your science classroom when you are talking about concepts and processes. Yes, of course, in the math classroom, we need a board to write something and share the process with the children. But now, when we are teaching online, it is really, really hard. OK, we might be using some presentations where the stuff is already written, or uh, some teachers have managed to uh, have a whiteboard at home, and they are turning the face of the camera writing there instantly and then explaining the concepts to the children that is also a one way of uh, reaching to the children but i found something very interesting and i'm happy to share that with you that is a chrome extension of a whiteboard so let me take you to Yes, please. So what you have to do is on the Google, just search for Google Chrome Whiteboard Extension. I just searched this and I found this easy chalk the online whiteboard software and i visited the website and i was surprised to see the amazing potential of this whiteboard my dear friends it is so good and you can see on the top there are mathematics tools there is a ruler then set squares, protector, and compass. And we can use all these tools effectively. And there are other available tools which we might use in our classroom. So let me see, share with you how I use this. On the right side, if you see, these are the pencils. And this is a pen which is ready now. For example, I was uh, talking about prime factorization and I wanted to find the prime factors of 240. So earlier it was very difficult for me to do this because I uh, used to tell the students, okay, draw like this, write like this, things like that. But now instantly I can use the board and draw the way I wish to and explain the process as well. So simply share the screen when you are hosting your Google Meet session and open up this whiteboard and uh, have interaction with the children. And uh, you can tell the children to unmute microphone one by one and they can have a discussion with you. Like uh, I normally ask one of the child to help me in seeing what the children are writing in the chat box. For example, I have to take up this question, find the, find the prime factors of 240. So I will tell one child, OK, you are going to help me today. Just see the chat box, who is writing. So one child says, OK, ma'am, I, I, I can uh, t uh, discuss the question with you. So I said that child, OK, unmute your microphone and discuss that question with me. So I ask, OK, now tell me what will be the next step. So the child will say two ones are two, two twos are four, and then put a zero. Fine, fantastic. OK, now what will be the next step? Divide by two again. So two six are 12, then it comes zero here. OK, now do the next step. Two, what will come here? OK, this is 30. Fine. So what will come next? Two. This is 
15. What will come next? So this way you can have the interaction with the children and you can see how I am writing. And uh, we can write down 240 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So you can come back to your presentation in between and add a slide here and carry on with the discussion. And if you feel like using this as a snip in one of the solution, so you can use the snipping tool given in your machines and use this tool for embedding the photo shot or the snip of that particular explanation in your presentation also. So see, I can take a snip. Now I want to take a snip of this. So I'll go to the snipping tool and then take this snip. And this snip is ready. Come back to my presentation. Suppose I want to use it here. I can share it here. And in the end, share the presentation with the children. So see, we have to use blended ways to interact with the children when we are taking the online classes. And we have to evolve as a teacher by trying new things. So today I have shared with you about the easy chalk, the online whiteboard, which you can uh, use while taking the online session in the Google Meet and you can uh, have an interaction with the children. There are a variety of options you can explore on your own and see there is eraser also. If you don't want this, you can rub this. Or another option is you can go to the next slide and start using this board for writing and sharing with the children. I hope uh, this technique uh, will help you in uh, your classrooms for uh, writing instantly and sharing the stuff with the students. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.